It's Britney, bitch. Oye, Britney, ¿qué pasó? Britney's performance at the VMAs was supposed to be her big comeback, and she really blew it. It was so disappointing. She was like a zombie out there, just going through the motions. And we're like, hey, Britney, you're like 10 years into your career. This should not be happening. It's so hard to remember at this point that not that long ago, Britney Spears was on top of the world. Olviden los VMAs del 2007. Desde que se separó de Kay Fed a finales del 2006, su vida ha sido un día loco tras otro. A veces tonta. Oh my God, like yeah. Otras veces simplemente rara. Her fans thought that maybe the old Britney was coming back, but unfortunately, the worst was yet to come. Tenemos toda la loca historia de los últimos 12 meses de Britney. Desde reinventarse hasta rehabilitarse. All my management, they totally knew what they were doing when they sent me to rehab. Like, totally. Desde perder sus calzones. Oh, gosh. It would be shocking to see it once as she slipped up. But then it happens two days later. A perder la cordura. Have you ever tried Weight Watchers? You fat Prepárense. Esto es All Access, el año más escandaloso de Britney. El año más impactante de Britney Spears por ahora. La actuación de Britney en los VMAs del 2007 conmocionó al mundo. When she took to the stage and I saw her dancing, what she was wearing, the lack of energy she had in the performance, I was stunned. I was like, oh my God, the lip syncing was off. I thought there was something wrong with my television. There's a lot of talk that she broke her heel. That's why she wasn't able to dance so well. There's other sources that say that she heard Sarah Silverman's act before she actually went on and was really upset to her kids as mistakes. Most people just speculated that she spent way too much time partying in Vegas instead of practicing. But anyone who has observed Britney in the last 12 months could have predicted this. Like, totally. Todo empezó a finales del 2006, cuando después de dos hijos y dos años de un tormentoso matrimonio con Kevin Federline, Britney Spears tomó el control de la montaña rusa de su vida al solicitar el divorcio. When Britney Spears got together with Kate Fed, people started to notice that she was dressing differently, she was acting differently. Her fans felt that Kevin was dead weight throughout the entire marriage, and Britney was finally free of him to become the star she once was. This was really her time. She had been stuck in that house taking care of the two kids while Kevin was out. She had a new haircut. She looked a lot more sophisticated than normal. And people thought, this is the Britney that everyone has been waiting to see. Britney enseguida adoptó su recién hallada libertad y a su nueva amiga parrandera, Paris Hilton. When people saw Britney hanging out with her, it was sort of like, this is not the direction that we were hoping you would go in. En pocas semanas, la nueva chica parrandera cubría los encabezados desde Los Ángeles hasta Las Vegas. Gracias a nuevas mejores amigas como Lindsay Lohan y un comportamiento escandaloso. They were out at clubs until all hours of the morning. They were doing the wildest and craziest things. They were dancing on tables. At one club in Vegas, they were having so much fun that Brittany ended up taking off her pants. Kick it! and just dancing around the club in her fishnet stockings. There are pictures of Britney actually sitting at one of the tables. She had her pants tied around her neck like a scar. Who does that? Después de una noche de parrandera en el Club High de Los Ángeles con Paris, Britney decidió mostrarle al mundo un nuevo lado suyo. Oh, gosh. El lado de su vagina. It was sort of the first moment that everyone was like, oh, okay. What's happening with Britney Spears? She had never really been that crazy party girl. For Britney, being as young as she was, having her entire life very carefully controlled, this sort of behavior was a way of finally being in control of herself. It would be shocking to see it once. So she slipped up. She's kind of a sweet southern girl. But then it happens two days later. In one misma semana, Britney se exhibió un total de tres veces. Probably the most famous picture of Britney's goodies was taken while she was exiting Paris's McLaren. Not only were her private showing, but even her cesarean scars were visible. 
Those photos went all over the world. And people were saying, look, you've got kids at home. Why are you out with Paris Hilton humiliating yourself like that by not wearing underwear? That was a really a point where the tide turned against Britney. A principios de diciembre, Britney recibió una visita del Departamento de Servicio de Salud Infantil de Los Ángeles. Britney has had kind of a weird history with the kids and child services. It all kind of goes back to this incident when she was seen driving with Sean Preston on her lap. She's apologized for that. Then there were these other incidents where the nanny was watching Sean Preston and he fell from his high chair and hit his head and ended up having to go to the doctor. So to see Britney going out and partying this much in light of those previous instances sort of raised a red flag for Child Protective Services. Thanks, Britney. They came, they visited her, and everything seemed to be in good condition. Britney se dirigió a su propia página web para aclarar las cosas. Escribió una carta de disculpa prometiendo año nuevo, música nueva y una nueva yo que pareció funcionar con los fanáticos. Love you. Al menos por un rato. Britney acknowledged that her ways were a little bit crazy in those few months after her split from Kevin. So that was really a great message to her fans who were like, okay, Britney is going to come back. She has not gone away and she hasn't lost it completely. Happy birthday! A pesar de todo, el año nuevo trajo otra serie de problemas para Britney. In order to ring in 2007, Britney decided to host a party at Pure in Las Vegas. She was reportedly paid $300,000, and while dancing to her song, I'm a Slave for You, she fell into a dead faint. I'm a slave. Britney Spears just, you know, does a tree log straight down under her head. It was kind of shocking for everyone, but 12.45, she is out cold. Uh, her bodyguards carry her out. Her manager, Larry Rudolph, went into damage control mode and started to say, no, 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 she didn't pass out. She was actually just catching some Z's. Las cosas se pusieron peor desde ese momento. En febrero, mientras casi todos los demás asistían a los Grammys, Britney estaba en el Club One, un club nudista en Nueva York, haciendo un espectáculo propio. So all of a sudden, there are these pictures that come out of Britney stripping down to her underwear, putting on some of their clothes and posing, and she's kind of like showing her butt, and she's wearing just a thong. Now, this is another night where Britney Spears manages the party so hard, you know, she's terribly exhausted from stripping, and she passes out in stripper's bikini in strip club and gets carried out once again by her bodyguards. El incidente nudista fue la gota que derramó la copa. Solo tres días después, Britney se dio ante la presión de su familia y se metió a rehabilitación, no muy convencida. Hello. Everyone, including Britney's fans, were relieved when she checked into the Crossroads Rehab Center on the island of Antigua. Well, didn't last very long. Britney, after just one day, checked herself out of that rehab center and headed back for the States. Britney checked out of rehab so fast because she didn't want to check in in the first place. She didn't think there was any reason for her to be in rehab. She was going to lead her life the way she wanted to. Everyone was wondering, what's her next move going to be? Well, what she did, no one could have predicted. Wow. Al regresar, el corte de pelo que escandalizó al mundo. The photos of Britney cutting all of her hair off are some of the most disturbing photos I've ever seen of a celebrity. Además, Britney intenta regresar, pero le sale mal. This was Britney's big chance to come back in the spotlight as a performer, and she really blew it. A continuación en All Access, el año más impactante de Britney Spears por ahora. All Access, el año más impactante de Britney Spears por ahora. Guys, back up. A mediados de febrero del 2007, Britney pareció ponerle un alto a su parrandeo nocturno y a sus exhibiciones al ingresar a rehabilitación. Pero se salió solo un día después. One of the first things Britney did when she got back to L.A. from Antigua was go to Esther's, which was a very small hair salon in the San Fernando Valley. Hey. She was complaining that her hair extensions were too tight, and she asked uh, the woman to cut them off. When Esther said no, Britney grabbed the razor herself and proceeded to shave her entire head totally bald. I mean, the photos of Britney cutting all of her hair off are some of the most disturbing photos I've ever seen of a celebrity. They absolutely show Britney in the middle of a mini meltdown. Britney, why don't you touch your hair like that? Solo cuatro días después de la extraña transformación de Britney, ingresó a rehabilitación por segunda vez. 
at this point, then, Brittany checks herself into Promises Rehab Center in L.A. Brittany had another revolving door rehab stay. She stayed only one night because she said she didn't want to be away from her young children. They tried to make me go to rehab. I said no. One of the first things Brittany wanted to do was to go and see her kids. So she goes to Kevin Federline's home, but Kevin didn't want to see her and in fact wouldn't even let Brittany in his own house. So she got very angry. So when she saw this photographer drive up, she took an umbrella and she started smashing his car. Yes, guys, please, please, guys, don't do this. She was hitting it so hard that she left these big dents in it. Now, had she not had her head shaved, the photos probably still would have been kind of weird, but the fact that you're seeing a bald Britney Spears attacking a car with an umbrella will probably go down in the history of celebrity behavior as one of the most bizarre instances of all time. Al día siguiente, Federline decidió que era hora de darle un ultimátum a Britney. Kevin said to Brittany, okay, if you don't go to rehab again, I'm going to fight really hard to get full custody of Jaden and Sean Preston. Brittany decides, all right, I'll go back again. She goes to Promises and she stays there for 27 days. During this time, people started to wonder if part of her problems were actually stemming from postpartum depression. And she was even seen carrying around Book Shields' book about postpartum. So at that point, people were willing to kind of throw her a bone and be like, okay, Brittany, you know, get yourself well and just make sure you're healthy. Al principio, los 27 días en el centro de rehabilitación parecieron poner a Brittany de vuelta al buen camino. You know me. Yeah, yeah. There definitely was about a month where everyone felt that once Brittany came out of rehab, she was a bit of a different person. Brittany started to focus on her career again. She was taking dance lessons again. She started shooting a music video. She attended both Lakers games and AA meetings. She hired a trainer and began looking more slim and muscular. And everyone felt once again, she's on the road to her comeback. Una vez que Brit salió de rehabilitación, los paparazzi siguieron cada uno de sus movimientos, ya sea que fuera dulce. What's your name? I'm Greg. You're cute. Sarcástica. Oh my god. O que estuviera simplemente enojada. Hey baby, when you gonna get our diet? Have you ever tried Weight Watchers? She's fat. She screams at them, she calls them names. But on the other hand, when she wants something covered, it certainly appears that she's calling up the paparazzi herself. My management totally knew what they were doing when they sent me to rehab. So right. Brittany can't go anywhere without photographers following her. She's very upset when she sees them. And if they're getting in between her and her kid, she's not being nice. You've got to stop using the cameras and follow Back up, guys. Back up. Back up. Get out of here, guys. Stop. Back out of here. Una cosa se estaba volviendo clara. Tanta atención no ayudaba a su imagen pública. By this point, everyone's perceptions of Britney were sort of set. There was no erasing the behavior of the past four months. People felt that Britney needed more help than she was getting. I love you guys. Love you too, Britney. Thank you. Al regresar, Britney le entrega documentos legales a su mamá al estilo hollywoodense. Britney invited the paparazzi to come along with her. It was sort of a big slap in the face to her mom, and Britney wanted the world to know. Además, Britney se da un chapuzón en calzones. A continuación en Los Laxes, el año más impactante de Britney Spears por ahora. Los Laxes, el año más impactante de Britney Spears por ahora. Para el verano del 2007, el escandaloso comportamiento de Britney había abierto una grieta en la familia Spears. Y su una vez sólida unión con su madre, Lynn, ahora estaba flaqueando. Throughout her entire life, Britney has been so close to her mom. They even wrote a book together about the relationship between mothers and daughters. But once Britney's sort of downward spiral began, Lynn Spears and Britney really were at odds. Britney felt that Lynn was siding with Kevin and that the two of them were working together to keep the children away from Britney. Se dice que la guerra entre madre e hija alcanzó su punto máximo a mediados de junio, cuando se volvió física. The reported slap fest happened when Lynn went over to Britney's and demanded to take her grandkids for the day. Britney wouldn't let her see the kids, and Lynn left completely distraught, completely shaken, and that kicked off the really bitter battle that the two of them had. 
El resentimiento de Britney pronto se volvió del dominio público el 25 de junio, cuando fue a ver a su hermana filmar Zoe 101 y le entregó una apabullante carta a su madre. When Britney handed her mother this letter, her mother looked sort of stunned and uncomfortable and confused. Britney invited the paparazzi to come along with her. It was sort of a big slap in the face to her mom, and Britney wanted the world to know. How are things with Britney? Do you guys reconcile yet? Those papers reportedly said that if Lynn was on any kind of medication that would make her impaired, she couldn't be around Britney's kids. So how's your mom? You think everything's going to be okay with her? I'm praying for her right now. Are you? She gets all the help she needs. You know what Britney's doing with her mom? She is battling for control. Her mom being around her kids and being friends with Kevin feels like the ultimate betrayal to Britney. Dos semanas después, la batalla de Britney por el control tomó otro giro sorpresivo. En julio, Britney decidió que sería buena idea meterse al mar sin nada más que su sostén y calzones. Ah, y los paparazzi. Britney and her assistant were driving through Malibu. They pulled over to the side of the road and Britney took off her dress. She did this with photographers trailing right behind her. It's kind of a sad, but it's also hilarious, Britney style. You know, I'm going to take off all of my clothes except for my skimpy underwear and my bra, and I'm going to take a dip. That's where you kind of realize there, there really is no stopping this, like, kind of crazy train. <laughs> En un intento desesperado de controlar los daños, Britney contactó a la revista OK y arregló una entrevista exclusiva. Everything seemed to be going normally on the day. She arrived about 45 minutes late, but then things started becoming increasingly erratic. She was accused of rubbing grease from fried chicken on the couture dresses, which were thousands of dollars. And then at another point, her dog pooped on a $6,700 Zach Posen gown. And then after only a few test shots were taken, she refused to go through with it and stormed out. And then at the end of the shoot, an awful lot of stuff went missing. Una semana después, Britney empacó su equipaje, tomó a sus hijos y voló a Las Vegas, supuestamente violando los términos de su acuerdo de custodia con Kay Fed. Her and KFED have this agreement. The kids cannot leave the state unless there's authorization from the other parents. It's another example of how she's not fully engaging reality and living up to her obligations. KFED se hartó y a través de su abogado le ordenó volver a Los Ángeles. Britney se fue de Las Vegas, pero no sin pelear. She was trying to leave the hotel with her two kids. The one bodyguard was holding Jaden, one was holding Sean Preston, and she was trying to just get out of there as soon as she could. The bodyguard checked uh, an intrusive paparazzi. The guy ended up on the floor, uh, and Sean Preston was was jostled. She reportedly freaked out and started screaming at the photographer and saying she was going to have him killed. What's going on, Brittany? You're starting to scare me. El divorcio de Britney terminó el 30 de julio, pero la batalla por la custodia apenas empezaba. El momento no pudo haber sido peor para Britney. Un escándalo en un tabloide reportó que había estado con un tipo al azar. Y también hubo reportes de sus locas aventuras lesbianas. Britney just keeps sinking and sinking, and now people aren't only concerned for her, but they think she's bringing her children down with her. There are reports that all the soda and junk food is rotting the kids' teeth, and there are reports that Britney took Sean Preston to the dentist to try to get his teeth whitened, but the dentist said no. Las cosas estaban poniendo tan mal para Britney que la gente de hecho se estaba yendo del lado de Kevin en la batalla de la custodia. When Brittany and Kevin split up, everyone was saying, finally, Kevin's out of these kids' lives. Cut to six months later, and everyone is praying that Kevin gets custody of these kids. Although Brittany is taking a lot of heat for her partying ways, for her parenting skills, Kevin Federline is no angel himself. In fact, at the beginning of their relationship, it was Kevin who was always perceived as the bad parent, not Brittany. As Kevin battles for the kids, we're hearing all these negative allegations against Brittany, and sometimes you wonder, are details getting leaked as part of a smear campaign? The big concern now is not only, you know, what's going to happen to these kids, but because Brittany is acting so erratically and it's affecting her children, how is it affecting her? You know, she needs to get her life in order immediately before this becomes another tragic Hollywood tale. Después de 12 meses de escandaloso comportamiento, el año de Brittany alcanzó su máximo con los VMAs del 2007, donde su show fue nefasto. 
Se supone que sería su tan ansiado regreso. This is Britney's big chance to come back in the spotlight as a performer and to really distance herself from all the tabloid headlines and she really blew it. I do think that people still want Britney to be successful. I think that the MTV Awards was a big disappointment, but at the same time it's just setting her up for a bigger comeback if she chooses to do better. All the ingredients are there for Britney to make a comeback. She has the great family behind her, she has the money, she has all the resources. So it's all a matter of just breaking through that shell and her realizing that she can be the old Britney that we know and love again. We love you, Britney.